Hi there everyone, it's Aaron here, 28 Games Founder and CEO. How y'all doing today? Hope you're all doing good and everything's working out for you. You know, you're being about your ambition, doing what you got to do to get through this life. Be stronger, be tougher, you know, move a little quicker. Um, here's the bottom line. Well, things just aren't good right now. Uh, well, things were going good. Uh, my mother decided to act up today. Uh, mind you, I'm 33 years old. I do live with my mother. Not something I'm necessarily proud of, but uh, there are a lot of millennials. Uh, younger millennials. Those born, you know, 91. Uh, I think uh, 83 to 91, 83 to 90, 96. That live with their parents. Uh, my mother decided to have a little, uh, pick a little uh, uh, bone with... Uh, Gerard is he's the guy here that uh, lives in our, our basement. Um, he's uh, that's why I call him the basement tenant. Um, and he's the reason he's staying here is because he's so he's not homeless. Number one, number two, so that my mother can get some extra cash, which she definitely needs a lot of. Uh, what happened today was my mother went off on him, uh, and then I noticed a huge change in her. Uh, she's her body language, everything changed up. Uh, and I said, here we go. And, uh, that's what, that's what happened. Um, and I thought she was going to have an outburst. She didn't, didn't have, end up having an outburst, but, uh, just everything about her, uh, made me feel very, uh, uneasy. Uh, I, I got afraid. I, 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 I got fearful. And uh, in a conversation that I had with her, which was kind of broke it up. Pardon me, I've just been crying. That's why my nose is stuffy. I'm not. I don't have a cold or anything like that. I just told her straight up, "Look, I wanted. To, I've thought about taking my life about between twenty-five and thirty times, and you scare me." I told her that right to her face. Do you know why? Because she's not getting it. She's not getting it. You've got to put the truth. You've got to put the truth in front of someone's face so that they finally get it. Because people are very stubborn, like my mother is. Even though I love her very much, God bless her, I know what she's trying to do. She doesn't get it. She starts her job on the 19th. Dunkin' Donuts. Starts at 13 an hour. She's on 90-day probation. They basically, you know, they want to figure out, you know, how she's going to do uh, you know what they what you know what they're up against, and that's so you know, uh, basically, uh, if she should leave for whatever reason, it won't be on them, and they won't have to do you know pay her unemployment, uh, benefits you know benefit there'll be no benefits anything like that. After ninety days, when they decide to keep, it's different with every job. Um, for this one, you know, the last one she had was ninety day probation, and uh, that basically you get past that. Um, and they decide to keep you, then you get benefits, everything like that. So it's kind of like a trial run. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she starts that on Monday. Uh, she, for the first time in two years, uh, she made a mortgage payment, which, you know, that's good. She knocked off a few other bills. Um, so make sure this is going. Okay, we got 3.37 here. 3 minutes, 37 seconds. Um, so, you know, she, she and, I, and she, and I thought, okay, that's good. That's good that she did all that, but guess what? Now it's going to last. Now she's going to keep the job. The problem is, okay, as you've known from my vlogs and my situation reports and my sit reps and whatever I've been putting on x.com or uh, Twitter, you know, there's been so many problems, okay? And uh, I've lived in fear. I've lived in fear, and I've told her that many, many times. She doesn't want to hear it. She'll go on the whole God and Jesus thing. As you know, she's very eccentric about that. She's very addicted to that. She's OCD. That's that's her life. That's all That's all her life revolves around. I'm going to tell you something straight up right now. Okay? You cannot get through life on prayer alone. Prayer can help. Okay? But you got to get out of your own way, and you got to do things. And when you're in the w workplace, you got to be bipartisan. And understand that people aren't going to all agree with what you agree on. If you want a paycheck at the end of the day, either weekly or bi-weekly, because that's how jobs do it, most do it bi-weekly, that, that's how it goes. But my mother doesn't get that. Okay? All things considered, she's probably got about 3600 now. 
So it is now her job to keep money coming in. Like I said, flowing like the Golden Gate Bridge. Because that's what we all want. We all don't get it, but that's what we want. It's up to her to keep this cash flowing. If it doesn't, she will be right back to square one. She will be right back to square one, and uh, it's not going to be good. And mind you, it's the same, the debt collection agency, Shellpoint, they're the mortgage servicer now. So they're taking the payments. She did that today. The payment is $1,099.31. There was a $30 uh, fee, one-time $30 fee. So it pushed it up to about 11 21 26 something like that. So a, a little bit more. She has got to, and excuse my language, okay? But what's real is real. She has got to get her shit together. If she doesn't do that, it's not going to be good. And it is not my fault, okay? Because I tried to warn. I warned everyone. I told everyone almost f four or five years ago. My mother has a serious problem. I even told my resource coordinator, Kate, coordinator Caitlin, that was more or less my supervisor when I was taking care of my sister and working through the social agency. I said, my mother has a problem. But she said, it's not basically not my concern. My concern is your sister. Okay, I, I get that. But I'm just trying to reach out and say, someone help. Someone see this. Because my, my, at that time, my mother was draining money all over the place. She had $10,000. $10,000 and spent it all on a bunch of crap because a voice in her head was telling her to do it. And... I just spoke to my aunt about it. We had a very long conversation. I expressed her condolences because, um, as you might have known, on uh, my past sit reps, they said that her brother-in-law, Thomas, did pass um, in a nursing home. The wake and funeral was just tell which my mother attended. Just good and all around. Everyone's happy, smile, and everything like that. That's great. That's great. And uh, my mother's going to be going to uh, my youngest cousin, McKenna's fifth birthday, uh, at a place called Fun Spot. Uh, that's going to be on Saturday. It's going to start at 5. They're going to do bowling. Uh, my mother was in a bowling, uh, bowling league, so that'll drum up some memories from her past, which will be good. She'll be doing that with my aunt uh, for Mass on her on her side, uh, or my other aunt. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. And my mother's saying, why don't you go? Well, you know what? Things are going to get worked out. I'm wound tight. I'm totally stressed out, okay? And I'm not going to hesitate to say that a lot of this is total bullshit. Because it absolutely is. Because it could have been prevented. And I tried and tried and tried. I tried with the whole lawyer thing. I can't afford a lawyer right now. In my mind, I think my mother needs a guardian. Someone to take care of her. But you need a lawyer for that. And uh, lawyers are ridiculously expensive. They have retainer fees. Uh, a guardianship lawyer or 3000 They want three to five grand. Three to five grand to do a guardianship case. Ridiculous. Like everything else. Everything else is... You come to the stage right now, every, you're going to find inflation, which every, everything's jacked up. You can't get pizza. You can't get going to freaking Mickey D's without, you know, a couple of burgers already being 20 bucks. You can't get a pizza without it being 20 bucks plus the delivery fee and all the other freaking surcharges that just, you know, people don't need. All this... All this people just want to freaking charge high prices. It's ridiculous. Then again, you know, that's life. Oh, hold on. I don't know if my mother's here or not. Or the door. Might be not Gerard. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's him coming back. Uh, yeah. So I got to X name quiet it down here. But, uh... I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm saying, and now I feel like, you know what, I need a miracle to get myself out of this, to get to, you know, freaking pay this, make the payments of this house, okay? Yeah, I think it's on. Gerard's going to, uh, he's going to tire. Uh, he has a Jeep. He's going to uh, change down his tire. So he's uh, changing out the tire right now. That's what he's doing out there. Uh, so here's the bottom line, everyone. And it's the craziest thing you'll hear. And I know you're like, what the hell are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? 
well, you know what? I'm not my right mind. And you know, when you when you got fear in your mind, you're not going to have the right mind. You're not. When you've been a victim for so long, like I, I even told my aunt this when I just talked to her about it. I said, I've been a victim. I've been a victim for nine months. And my mother, you know, uh, was talking with her. She apologized because, you know, I think what talks and sets into her is me saying, look, I want to take my life. Okay? I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. You don't get it. You don't understand. You don't understand you have a problem. And I said, look, when my dad was younger, he told me things I didn't like to do. I put my head down. He said, my dad said, no, pick your head up. You're going to listen. You're going to listen, boy. And you're going to learn. And it's like, I'm the... Uh, roles are reversed. I'm the parent. She's the child. And I have to reprimand her. And I'm saying, look, get outside your mind and see what the problem is. The problem is the pro same problem that I thought was getting better. After six months, you won this medication. Because she's going to be on your medication for six months. On the 24th of this month. Six months. On an antipsychotic called Seroquel. But it's uh, quintip uh, quintipine cermate. And it's a substitute for Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic, which gets into your nervous system and calms it down. 25 milligrams during the day, 50 milligrams at night. But anyway, the craziest thing, I feel like the only way, the only way, okay? And it, okay, it's not the only way, but it's a quick fix. It's to freaking win the lottery. I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, and I'm not talking Powerball making millions. I'm talking Lucky for Light, which you've seen me play pretty much almost every night. I play that thing every single night. And yeah, I got two grand, right? I got 1900 bucks, And I am playing the lottery like a mother every single night. Every single night. Because I know how bad it is. I know it is going to suck. It is going to absolutely suck. Because I cannot, with ironclad surety... In full confidence, trust my mother that she is gonna, uh, that she is not gonna flip out and have this crap happen at, at, uh, at an, an eleventh job. This is the eleventh attempt in about two years that she's trying to work a job. In two years, I can't do it. It is bad for my health. My aunt even said, you know, uh, do some telemedicine, tell a doc, talk to a doctor online. I know I got to do that. And when my mother was crying in my arms because I, when, after I revealed to her that I wanted to freaking kill myself a few times, and that is no joke. That is no joke. When you feel like you have no other option and your walls are caving in and your roof, that will happen. But it's not going to happen with me. It's just this freaking life sucks so bad. You know, it's not a good situation. I made that very, very clear. I made that very, very clear. It is not a good situation. Okay? And I said, it's the psychic medium's fault. And you know what? In some ways it is. The psychic medium, two of them, came in here and fed my mother a whole bunch of crap. Completely transforming her. Talking about devil and open Pandora's box. And that's why this house has been so damaged. That's why you go all around this house and there's holes everywhere you look. Well, so, and some of them are painting up now. But you know what? It still happened. The damage is done, and it can't be rekindled. Well, well, those specific, I mean, those things can be replaced, but it shouldn't have, the bottom line is it shouldn't have happened in the first place. It shouldn't have happened in the first place. And I'm not going to deal with it. I just feel, I just told my aunt again, I feel like I got a disowner. I don't want to do that. I don't want her to be alone. I don't want her to be lonely. I don't want her humming the lonely song. I don't, but I want something better that isn't this. Don't we all? Don't we all? That's the update right now. Me here, Aaron Fountain, CEO of 28 Games. We do what we gotta do. We get by. We get by, we get better. We try to stay higher. We try not to feel like we have to have the earth salt us. Trust me when I tell you, I know how bad it sucks. And you aren't alone. You aren't alone. And you can, you can go on too. Like the song goes, the heart will go on. 
you can go on to. If you're watching this and you are in a shitty, a shitty situation as I am, let that be your strength. Let that be your motivation to move forward and walk one step further, even if it's a half step. One of the things I told my sister all the time when I was still taking care of her, half step, still progress. It may take a little longer, but you'll get there. You'll get there. All right, I'm going to lock this up and carry on. A little bit of military uh, language there for you. Lock it up, carry on. You know, when you're asking someone to use their flight deck, not flight deck, uh, parade deck, excuse me, parade deck, parade deck, you know, where they march and do their stationary drill. You know, you'll ask, respectfully asking to use your parade deck, and they'll say, very well, carry on. And that's where it comes from. Marines. Hoorah. You guys are all great, too. You got it the toughest. I wish you all the best in your fight, too, like I wish everyone. I wish everyone the best in their fight. I want to see people succeed. I want to see people watch these videos and be inspired and succeed. Because you know what? It'll show me I've done my job. Forever how long I will can, 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 can walk this earth. I hope and I hope. Even though I do know, I still got to say I hope that X6V will be remembered. And X6V or 28 games will be remembered too. Not just by Rockstar, not just by Leslie Benzies and, and his crew over there at Rocket Boy. Build a Rocket Boy. But as many people as possible. It's called getting through the getting by. Sometimes you just... And uh, like uh, Dirk Bentley says, a country singer here in the U.S., sometimes you're breathing, sometimes you're just, your heart's just beating, sometimes your clear eyes uh, ain't even uh, uh, breathing or something like that. And you get a heart full of grateful for all you've been given. Sometimes you just get by, sometimes you're, you're still alive, just alive. Take nothing for granted. And know that good things can come your way, and good times are ahead. It's my pleasure to say all this, even though once again I was scared shitless today by my mother. And remember, they say that those who uh, swear do have a high intellect. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but what I do know is that, you know, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to walk, I'm going to go on. You are too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron, founder, CEO of the crazy, ambitious, and cleverly historic 28 games, about to sign off. But plenty more on, my, on the way. Sit reps, playing the lotto. The draw tonight could be Lucky for Life, could be Mega Millions. Lucky for Life is 1038, Mega Millions is, I believe, 11. I'll appreciate your lotto love. And you're a lot of luck for me. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm if you're here in New England. God bless. Best yet to come. Take care. Bye-bye.